three team finalists in the Youth in Government program meet on neutral ground. This Supreme Court case addressed the constitutionality of life without parole for juveniles convicted of capital crimes. Parents, these guys could not be here without you, so I really want to thank you for your support of them. Um, and ladies, I'm so proud of you. Debating one topic in front of three local judges. Let me make one thing clear. Today, we are not debating the violence exhibited by Evan Miller. Instead, we are debating both the constitutionality and the justice displayed by this case. Preparing for weeks to be able to answer any question. Was this sentence unusual? Precedent from both Graham versus Florida and Harris versus Wright, minors who commit truly horrific acts such as murder are deserving of the sentence of life without parole. Based on that, why wouldn't we take into account the science and treat juveniles differently than adults? This is a special case and that we need to judge him based off his actions and that even his words himself prove that he's, he's not like the other 14 year olds. Mr. Jackson in jail for the rest, in prison for the rest of his life without the possibility oh. of parole at 14 years old. We must rule in favor of Miller today to avoid a step back of counsel. Thank you, your honors. In the end, through this partnership between the Martin County School District and the YMCA of the Treasure Coast, these teams make connections. I got to meet such incredible judges and people along the way, and I've learned so much about our constitution and government, and it's made me realize what I want to do for the rest of my life. They learn how to advocate and win scholarship money. Oh, I think that they would do a great job being lawyers, each and every one of them, if that's what they choose to do. All these girls are going to be successful.